In Ireland, approximately 2,900 people each year develop cancer of the bowel. Bowel cancer affects both men and women and is the third most common form of cancer in Ireland. And here to discuss all of this, we have Dr Megan Greeley. Dr Megan, you're very, very welcome to the show. Uh, what are the causes of bowel cancer, first of all? Um, so the causes, um, really, it's, it's not so much causes as risk factors. Um, most of the time it happens just for an unknown reason. Um, sometimes, about 5% of the time, it can be inherited um, from one or other of our parents. Um, but the things that would increase our risk of bowel cancer, um, naturally with age, our risk increases. Um, and then if we've had bowel cancer in the past or somebody in our close family has had bowel cancer. Um, and then there are other things that we can modify, like our, um, our weight, um, alcohol consumption um, can also um, contribute. Um, and then more rarely, people who have inflammatory um, conditions of the bowel, such as ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease, um, which people might have heard of. Mm -hmm. um, and people with those conditions might undergo more root regular surveillance um, to look for signs of, of bowel cancer. Mm. Uh, can you tell us, does diet play any part in maybe reducing your risk of getting bowel cancer? Absolutely. So um, we, we know that red meat and fat in our diet increases the risk um, and so if, if we're looking to reduce our risk of bowel cancer we should um, avoid eat less of those types of foods and um, focus more on foods with high, high fibre um, and then fruits and vegetables as well. Mm -hmm. at, at what age, Megan, should we start watching out for this? In your 40s or in your 50s or when? Um, so it's interesting actually, traditionally bowel cancer affects people in their 50s, 60s, 70s most commonly, but actually we're seeing an increasing um, incidence of it in younger people, even in their 30s and 40s. Um, and so I don't think there is any age too early that if you have symptoms that are concerning that they should be investigated. What about screening? Are there home tests or do you need to go to a hospital for a test? Um, so there is a bowel screening program in Ireland um, that was set up in the last decade um, and this at the moment is focused on people in, in their, um, who are aged between 60 and 69 um, where they will get a home test kit and this looks to see if we can detect blood in the stool um, and if this is the case which only happens in about 5% of tests that are carried out, um, a colonoscopy would be recommended. Um, and a colonoscopy is where we can look with the camera mm -hmm. to actually visualise the inside of the bowel okay. um, and see, can we find any abnormalities? Megan, what are the main symptoms associated with bowel cancer? So most commonly it's a change in um, the, the, your bowel habit. So, um, you know, more going to the toilet more often or having diarrhoea or constipation or sometimes, particularly if the cancer is lower down in the bowel, um, you might have a feeling that you haven't completely emptied your bowel after going to the toilet. Um, and then sometimes people could have symptoms where they have pain in their abdomen or feel bloated. Um, and then ca cancers that affect the, the right side of the bowel, they can bleed more. Um, and so patients could have anemia. What we mean by anemia is low blood mm -hmm. counts. Um, and when that happens, you might feel more tired or have shortness of breath. Yeah. Um, so any of those symptoms, I would really urge um, people, if they're concerned that they have these persistent symptoms, to get checked out. Um, or if they have um, plans to get investigations or tests in the hospital, that they wouldn't defer it because of everything that's going on with um, COVID-19. Yeah. Because, um, you know, these symptoms are also a priority to get checked out. Can we just go back to the, we just had a graphic up there, sorry, while you were chatting a little bit too early. Can we go back to the last shot, Tony, there, please? Uh, just where the, this is the first shot, of course, of where the bowel is. But if we see the next shot after this, yeah. uh, Megan, you may just talk us through this of, of where it can begin. We see the lymph nodes. Does, does it primarily begin in a lymph node? No, so cancers um, start in a, usually in a polyp, um, okay. which is just a growth in the inside of the bowel. So if you, it works from the inside out. Um, so the deeper it goes towards where you can see the lymph nodes there, um, the more um, advanced or invasive it is. Okay, I see. So um, it can then spread. That's why we're seeing that. And the next place it goes that. is okay. to the lymph glands after that. Okay. And what, what about treatments then, Megan? So that graphic is very helpful um, in terms of, of um, helping us with treatments. Um, if the cancer is only inf affecting the bowel wall itself, then maybe surgery on its own will be all that will be required. Um, 
so in that case, you know, sometimes if a patient has risky features, they might need chemotherapy to reduce the risk of the cancer coming back in the future. Mm -hmm. But in general, we would refer, re reserve chemotherapy for patients where the cancer has spread to the lymph glands. Um, so for most patients where it's just involving the bowel, surgery on its own um, should be all that's needed. And that's, again, another reason to get checked out early um, and, and have your bowel screening if you're in the right age group. Um, so that, you know, if we can detect these cancers at an earlier stage, the, the treatment can be much less intensive. Um, when you have surgery on your bowel, can a, a certain part of the bowel be taken away and that you will not need a colostomy bag afterwards? Or are there different... Uh, variance when it comes to the, the gradation and how far the spread is? Absolutely. So it really depends on the location of the of the cancer. If it's in the um, right side of the bowel, for example, most patients don't um, require um, to have a colostomy. Um, sometimes it can be more complicated if the cancer is um, lower down in the rectum. Um, uh, stoma is often required more um, frequently. Um, and those patients as well um, sometimes need to undergo radiation treatment um, as part of all of that. Uh, Megan, where can people get more information if they are worried about this? Um, so the HSE website um, has a, a dedicated bowel cancer page. Um, the, the Irish Cancer Society also at cancer.ie. Um, and then there is um, a dedicated bowel screen website as well where you can get more information about how to register um, and what age group it's currently targeting. And that's at bowelscreen.ie. Great. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Good, Megan, Megan Greeley. As always, if you have any health concerns, uh, do consult your GP. And if you want more information on today's topic, as uh, Megan said there, you can go to bowelscreen.ie or cancer.ie.